Okay, today, well right now I'm making a good breakfast and then I'm gonna clean up really good. I feel like I need to get back in the habit of cleaning things really well between every project. I think it's actually even more important that I do that now that I'm my workspace is my living space. So I'm gonna clean everything up in here really well. And then, oops, my bagel's a little crisp. I still have not perfected toasting things in this oven. Um, oh, my water. What was I gonna say? Okay, after I'm done cleaning up, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might make cabinet doors for these. Um, I actually made some yesterday, but they turned out like pa parallelograms again. And I almost used them anyway, but then I was like, no, I'm turning over a new leaf. I am, hold on, I gotta poach my egg. Hey Siri? Turning over a new leaf, I'm not going to be using the things that I do crappy. I'm gonna be redoing them because that's what I did with the whole panel and I'm so glad I did that. So, I might make some cabinet doors, although I won't be able to finish that project because they don't have the hinges that I want here, so I need to order them. Maybe I'll start concealing the wiring up there. I don't know, we'll see. Breakfast and clean up first. Okay, decision made. I ordered the uh, hinges for the cabinets, but today I'm gonna work on these wires and I don't really know what I'm gonna do. So I need to take this whole bundle over here and either take them down and over or maybe just over up here. That might be better. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. What if I, <gasps> this could be actually perfect. Oh, why is it so dark? This is what just came to me. What if I ran them up here and then I could just cover them with some sort of like bulkier trim option, which maybe could also become a little tiny shelf where I could put decorations that will hide all this ugly nonsense. Am I a genius? Maybe. Problem is, I really don't know how to do this. <laughs> I have like sort of a vision in my mind, which involves a kind of like square tube made of wood <laughs> which I think I I guess I would need a router to do that I've been looking for an excuse to buy a router anyway so my brother-in-law said he'd go half and half with me so maybe I should buy a router I'm sure there's actually like a way better and simpler way to do this that I just don't have the experience to come up with but I feel like that could work run it along here and then down here Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Right now, I'm going to work on like sort of bundling and organizing the wires together and maybe mounting them up here. And then I'll think about how to build the enclosure, whether I need to buy a router for that. It's starting to rain a little bit. I love it when it sprinkles in here. So I am editing this video right now, working from nature today and just look at my surroundings. The perfect office. Anyway, I wanted to take a minute and talk about today's sponsor, Fetch. Fetch is an easy to use free app where you can earn rewards on anything that you buy. You can scan any physical or e-receipt and earn points on every single purchase um, on receipts up to two weeks old. And then you can redeem those points for gift cards to places like Amazon, Visa, Starbucks, Walmart, etc., etc. all very useful places. The best part about Fetch is that it works on any retail receipt, electronic or physical, so you can earn points on the spending that you're already doing anyway. Right here, I just have this random receipt I got this morning, the type of store where we already know I'm spending a lot of money, and I'm just going to take a photo of this, and there you can see it just scans in the info, scans in the points, easy as that. That literally took me like five seconds. You can start redeeming at 5,000 points. And let me show you some of the retailers where you can redeem your points. Just scrolling through here, you're seeing a lot of familiar places, I'm sure. And if you're anything like me, a lot of these places, you're already spending money at anyway, so might as well be gift card money, right? Fetch is fast. You can redeem points in seconds. It's easy. No need to sort through your seats to find out which ones work because they all work. Your points turn into gift cards, which you can use at places that, again, you're probably already spending money anyway. For me, that's a lot of Amazon and also Visa where you can basically spend anywhere these days. And you can earn points from anywhere, retail receipts, groceries, restaurants, Amazon purchases, 
So to take advantage of these free, awesome benefits, go to the link in my description. And for a limited time, my viewers can use the code EMMABUILDS and get 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. So that's enough to already redeem a gift card. So I would recommend you guys do that. Meanwhile, I'm going to finish editing this video. Thanks to Fetch for sponsoring. My brother says I don't need a router and I should use plywood. This is gonna be a challenge for me.
so here's what I ended up accomplishing today. I started making this little platform to be kind of a like control center. That's my thingy that reads my check engine codes and tells me my gas mileage and stuff. That's my GoPro mount. I might stick it right there. And then there's my monitor for my backup cameras. I made spaces for all the wires to run and I'm gonna do a little more work here. And then, ignore that. I ran a few wires right here. I just used these little sticky thingies that I happen to already have and that happen to conveniently be spilled right there. Um, that's kind of embarrassing, but I, I suspect that if I took these screws out, I might be able to pry this back a little and just run that underneath here, have it pop back up right there. That's not a can of worms I'm interested in opening right now, so maybe I'll do that another time. And then I also kind of got these wires together, organized down to right here where it gets messy again. I need to go back to the store and buy a couple more supplies to finish this table thingy. Oh, it's so bright. Once I do that, then I'll better sort and organize all the wires stuff right here. And I need to like start getting the... The reason I stopped organizing right here is because I have this light switch right here. Turns on these lights. And I probably want to actually mount this on whatever enclosure I make for the wires right here. So I can't get everything totally organized right here right now because when I'm mounting that light switch, I'm going to have to disconnect the wires and reconnect them. So I'm leaving that for now. And I think my next step is to actually start building the little boxes for up here. So maybe tonight, my brother told me he would help me with that. And that's probably going to be what ends up happening, but I might attempt it on my own. So th I think maybe tonight I will work a little bit more on figuring out like the dimensions that I need and what exactly I want to do here and tomorrow after maybe tomorrow if I manage to finish this front part early enough I will start to attempt to build those that would be awesome I'm actually kind of excited about this I think you guys know I don't normally like dealing with wires but it's exciting to see everything start to come together and look a little bit more clean a lot of you are going to be excited about this too I know this this was driving a lot of people nuts. <laughs> myself included. Probably myself most of all, hopefully. <laughs> I am also, as I said, having some ideas come together for how I'm going to cover this mess. I'm excited. I'm finally like getting back into the groove of building and it's fun. It's funny how much I enjoy myself when I'm doing this and how much I sometimes just hate my life. It's kind of an either or situation. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. I did a supply run. So goals this morning, finish that little dash thingy that I started and then, I don't know, assess what to do next. ugly. Pretty. Good. It's like a picture. Good? Good enough. I'm confused. <laughs> okay, I got it figured out. That was very confusing because I didn't have this plugged in the way I've had it plugged in. I accidentally swapped one of the like camera power cords and plugged it into the monitor. So the monitor was coming on when I didn't have it plugged in and I was so confused. But anyway, I got all the wires sorted back out. So now I have this thing. I have this regular 12 volt car plug under here if you can see that. And that's what I have the monitor plugged into. I have this little USB charger right here 
which is also working, my camera mount, which I still need to stick down, and my monitor for all three backup cameras. I should still adjust the position of the cameras themselves, but now at least I have this permanently wired in so I can just turn it on and off, but where before I had to remember to bring my little portable power station and set it up here to plug it into anytime I was going to drive. So this should be much, much nicer. I also have everything like in its own place where before I just had some butyl tape all over the back of this that I used to try to stick it to a piece of plastic right here. This thing was just propped up in a piece of like in an old Amazon bag, so garbage. Yeah, so it should be a lot nicer. All I need to do is stick this down. I ended up painting all of it except this top part black because it. I should have taking a video of it but it looked really trashy from the outside even though I had stained the backside it just looked like so trashy from out there and so my brother-in-law suggested that I paint it black so that it blends in with the dash and it looks so much better and I also stained the top darker I thought the the stain that I had it was just my ceiling stain so I don't know why it's turning out so like blonde and pale everywhere else because that's what I wanted for my ceiling my ceiling looks so much darker than I wanted it and everywhere else it's turning out so light like this looks I felt like it looked just totally unfinished, so I got a darker stain, which is kind of ugly. I don't really like it, but it'll do for now. Okay, I'm gonna show you the outside. So the black looks way better than it did before. This part just like really stuck out like a sore thumb. And now you can hardly notice it, so I am happy with that. The next project I'm gonna do, I think is actually not even gonna be a project at all. I think I'm gonna clean up very thoroughly in here and assess what other like plywood and lumber I need because I am going to be going tomorrow to a city where they have a Home Depot so I want to get as much stuff as I need as possible while I'm there. So unfortunately that means it's time to do my least favorite thing, making a plan and getting organized. what I need at Home Depot. Now I've been just like going around in circles again about what's the best next thing to do and I think I'm just gonna keep going in circles unless I just start doing something. So I'm gonna start working on the trim right here because I think the trim needs to be the first thing that I do to finish concealing the wires up there. So I'm gonna start with that and I potentially will very quickly move to something else but I just gotta start doing something I think. done this notch from the bottom instead of the top. Should I redo it? Oh, you know what I can actually do? Yeah, that'll be better. Okay, here's what I'm doing. 
Can I put this here? Does that look crooked? It's very hard to tell if it looks crooked because the mine boards are so crooked. The bottom of the like I just want this to be a was, level line right here. Yeah. Maybe we should get this side in line first. Katie, can we just hold this while I go to drill? Whoa! Whoa! Good work, Super Mom. How does it look? Level or crooked? It's hard because if you look at only the boards that are actually straight, it looks good. Yeah, don't look at these. Yeah. Alrighty, thank you. Yeah, no worries. 